friends today we shall learn about the variable loadings on the beam in order to understand the variable loading on the beam first let's understand what is a variable loading now when the intensity of load that is load per unit length is varying over the length of the beam this you can understand with the help of an example so this is a beam ab the intensity of load acting on this beam is varying over the length so here if you see the load acting on the beam has variable intensity let's say it is small w so this intensity is varying along the length of the beam so when the intensity that is small w is varying along the length of the beam it is called as the variable loading so we may have a different intensity at point a that may be w a and we may have a different intensity at point b that is w b so in this example we can see that the intensity of loading is not constant along the length of the beam now if i take a as a origin point and if i take x coordinate along the length of the beam so as we go along the length of the beam the intensity of beam keeps on changing so we can write down here that the intensity of load that is small w varies with length of the beam that is we can say x so we can get a relationship that intensity is function of x so as we go along the length of the beam the intensity is going to vary so this kind of loading when the intensity is a function of x is called as the variable loading so now we need to find out the resultant load due to variable loading so we have a variable loading here as you can see and we wanted to find out the effect of this variable loading as a single load and that is called as the resultant load so let me say that we have a resultant load capital w r acting due to the variable loading on the beam so let's say the w r is the resultant load and it is acting at distance x r from point a let w r is the resultant load due to variable loading on the beam and it is acting at distance x r from point a so we can convert overall variable loading acting on the beam into a single point load wr which is the net effect or resultant effect of entire variable load acting on the beam and it is going to act at a distance xr from point a so now the question arises how to find the value of wr so to find out wr what we do is we consider a small length of the beam like this and this length of the beam has length the dx so over this small length of the beam the intensity of load is small w so for small length of the beam load intensity is almost constant so i can convert this load intensity which is load per unit length into a point load acting on small length therefore load on dx equals to it is going to be a small load and that is equal to what load intensity times the length of the beam dx so we are simply multiplying load intensity with the length which is dx so now this is the load acting on the small length dx so if i integrate it over the length uh, i shall be getting overall load acting on the beam therefore the total resultant load given by integration of small load that is wr is obtained by integrating the small load which is w dx over the entire length that is from point a to point b so if i integrate it from point a to point b we shall be getting the resultant load which is w dx so this is the expression for resultant load due to variable loading on the beam now we are going to consider the same beam again and we would like to find the location of the resultant load that is distance of load wr from point a that is xr we are going to find out if i take the moment of resultant load wr with respect to point a so that is wr into xr there is moment of resultant load that will be equal to the moment of smaller loads acting on small length so we know that there is a small load acting on the length dx so that small load is nothing but load intensity into dx and i am going to find its moment from point a so that is into x i will do so if i integrate this from point a to b so moment of small load acting on the small length dx is same as the moment of resultant load with respect to point a so that i have done written here so from here you can get location of resultant load with respect to point a is given by integrating from point a to b x into load intensity into dx divided by resultant load that is wr this can also be written as in simplest form 
xr equals integration a to b x into w dx and the next one is integration a to b this we already done the resultant load is nothing but w into dx so this is the expression for the location of resultant load xr so we have understood how to find the resultant load that is we integrate the load intensity over the length so we get uh, resultant load wr and the location of the resultant load is given by this expression where we take the moment of load intensity with respect to point a and that we divide by the resultant load so now we'll see some example so how to find the resultant load and uh, location of resultant load so let me take one example here to make it more clear so let's consider this problem so we have to find the resultant of variable loading acting on the beam and location from end point a as shown in the figure so friends we have here the problem so we have a cantilever beam so in this cantilever beam so we have got a variable loading acting on the beam ab which is a cantilever beam and the length of the beam ab is 6 meters and the intensity of variable loading is given as 5 x square newton per meter so in this particular example we need to find out the resultant of this variable loading acting on the beam and also its location with respect to point a so let's do the solution let's see how we can find out that so we shall be considering a thin portion of the beam of length dx at distance x from the point a so on this thin portion of the beam the intensity would be almost constant that is small w so we'll find out the load acting on the thin strip so therefore we'll consider load on the beam of length dx so that is equal to load intensity into the length which is very small length dx so this is basically the load acting on the length dx now if i integrate this load over the entire length of the beam i shall be getting the overall load therefore resultant load that is we call capital w r so that is nothing but we integrate the load acting on the beam of length dx what is so i am going to integrate that from point a to point b and that is w times dx so at point a x equal to 0 while at point b x equal to 6 meters so it is going to be x equal to 0 to x equal to 6 the load intensity w is 5x square as you can see it is given here and then into dx so it is a very simple integration so if i simply solve this i will get the resultant load as 5 x raised to 3 over 3 from 0 to 6 and that is going to be 360 newtons so now we would like to find the location of resultant load from point a so as we know that to find the location of resultant load we have to take the moment of the small load acting on strip dx with respect to point a and that we divide by wr so the location of resultant load so that is given as xr which is equal to integration a to b that is moment of load acting on thin portion of the beam that is w dx divided by the resultant force acting on the beam that is moment from a to b w dx so this is nothing but so this will be starting at a x equal to 0 at b x equal to 6 we have x here the expression for w that is load intensity is 5x square dx and that is divided by now this this w into dx a to b is nothing but you can see here it is wr which is 360 so this will be simplified so x into x will be x cube so 5 by 360 you'll get times 0 to 6 x cube dx so if you integrate this you will be getting a distance 4.5 meters from point a so therefore you'll be getting answer that is x r location is going to be 4.5 meters so this way you can find out the resultant of the variable loading on the beam as well as its location with respect to given point so we'll see some more examples to make this concept clear thank you very much